On today's episode of World of Micah, we're visiting Disney's Animal Kingdom. We're going to be meeting up with our friend Jordan the Lion, and we're going to have a wild time. Now! Look at Jordan. There's Jordan. There he is. I'm going to wait for him at the front. And while I wait for Jordan, I'm going to point this out. Some remains from Beastly Kingdom right there. The big dragon. I did a whole video on Beastly Kingdom. Check it out one day if you can. A little history of Disney's Animal Kingdom. There's another remain up at the front. I'll show it. Okay, made it to the entrance, and I was just telling Jordan about this, so I wanted to walk over here and show the head of the dragon for the never uh, never opened, never designed, well, it was designed, but it never actually uh, was constructed. Um, Beastly Kingdom, but he made it. He I made finally it. made it. Yes, I love the hat. I need to get one uh, of those. Unlike that dragon, I made it here. You, yes, you did. On a separate tram. But this yeah. is Jordan's first time. So we're going to go inside Animal Kingdom and just have a ball. It's going to be fun. Actually, you have a ball at Epcot. Here you have a wild time. I must be honest with you guys. Animal Kingdom's starting to grow on me. It's been a long time since I've been here. This is usually the least visited park. But I don't know. And look who is back over here. It's like Divine is back. Look at that. I have not seen you in a long time. It's good to see you again. It's wonderful. Man, it's so cool. Bye. It's been a hot minute since I've seen Divine, but that's classic Animal Kingdom right there. You walk in, see her, that's awesome. Jordan has no idea what awaits him around the bend here. Not the river bend, but the bend. Almost could have. Oh, there we go. Check this out, man. Look. That's so cool. Whatever you are. Looks like some sort of. It's a pig, pig deer. Morphing. Yeah, it says pig deer over here. If you can pronounce that. But it translates to pig deer. It's an Asian. Asian pig, it says. It's like a hairless pig. Or like a warthog. And there it is, Jordan's first time. <laughs> Isn't that cool? There's a ride inside there. Well, there's a show inside. And we can walk all up around that thing, too. So many different paths you can take. Now, I heard somewhere that when they were originally planning this Tree of Life, Michael Eisner wanted it to be a restaurant and it would like lift up from underneath the ground and be spinning around so the guests could get like a 360 view and then go back underneath. But then they were coming out with a Bug's Life. And so they were like, let's call it the Tree of Life, blah, blah, blah. Let's put an attraction in there, the Bug's Life. Pretty cool. And that's what we got today. Something I heard. I did like a whole video of the Tree of Life too. Yeah, I think we're gonna take a little walk up to the Tree of Life. Go through the different paths. And the more you stare at the Tree of Life, the more animals will start to pop out at you. See like the Komodo dragon here, an elephant, a little deer. The more you stare, the more animals different wildlife will pop out at you. All right, we got 10 minutes till the next show. We're gonna do the tough to be a bug. They got this area blocked off. The path, they're getting up to the tree of life. They're doing a refurb, but we're we're heading into a stuff to be a bug, so. But I was hoping I could take Jordan up there. Maybe it's open on the other side, but man, look at that, you can see the. Yeah, completely like fixing this up. I see a, uh, there's like a crane in there. They've got it blocked off, that's cool. Kind of hiding it. Yeah, we're about to go underneath the tree of life. And this is kind of like a 3D and animatronic show. No, I no love spoilers. Animatronics. Yeah, dude, no spoilers, but um, this is a fun, a fun one. I haven't done this in a long time, but it's his first time. 
Look at that tree of life right there. We're about to go underneath and the theater is inside the tree of life. And this does have lightning lane, by the way. This is like my favorite thing, man. It's so cool, so adventurous through here. You even get some water effects, like very cool. This is a very hot park. But, oh man, look at the baby elephant right there. He's holding on to his friend. This is so cool. I haven't done this in so long. I think the last time I did this was with my mom years ago when she came to visit. The Dung Brothers, yeah, they got some attraction posters over here for what we are about to, to see. All right, in we go. I gotta get my bug eyes. Hello. Let's get our bug eyes so we can see in bug vision. See those bug eyes. Oh, okay. You heard her. Can't record inside. Some more. Some more posters here. Auntie and Beauty and the Bees. And a cockroach line. See a, a poster on the other side there for a little shop of poppers. I don't know if you guys can see that I'm zooming in all the way. We're about to enter the theater, and I can't film, but I'm sure there's someone on the internet that has filmed this show. Let's just watch their footage. That was a lot of fun. A lot of fun, I will say. I just noticed this bat right there. I love bats, by the way. All right, heading into Dino Land USA and this Trilobites. This used to be a McDonald's back in the day. True story. But Donald Dino Bash is back. I'm hoping Scrooge is gonna be here today. Scrooge McDuck. I'm not sure who returned to Donald's Dino Bash, but we're gonna try and ride Dinosaur as well because Jordan's never been on Dinosaur. But I wonder if uh, Launchpad is here. Yeah, Launchpad's little meet and greet area has been taken over. It's just a place to hang out now. That's a bummer. Here's Sue. This is an exact replica of Sue, the most complete T-Rex. It was found in South Dakota in 1990. So that's a replica of what they have found of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I feel like Disney could have afforded a real one though, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> had like a real T-Rex bones like just sitting out yeah. here. I used to think- Caprio can afford some, I think Disney could. Yeah, well I used to think this was Sue and I was like, why in the heck are they leaving this out in the Florida elements? Then I read the sign again and it said replica. So now I don't feel so bad. Yeah. It's just, that's probably resin and everything. We're going in to Dinosaur, man. We are gonna do it for the first time with Jordan, his first time. Look at that guy. We're about to see him up close and personal. At the very end of the Cretaceous period, that's where you're going today. We have arrived, it seems, just in time to correct a little misstatement. We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the iguanodon, then I'll enlarge the transport field, and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? And I always show this. Mayonnaise, mustard, and ketchup. If you know, you know. And here's the time rover. Pulling in. CTX rover. Countdown to extinction. That's pretty cool, right? Alright. Second row, right in the middle. Get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Skyracosaurus. Not our dino. The one. Moving on. That was awesome. It's been a while since I've been to the Dino Institute and I gotta pay attention in here. I don't want to miss it. My favorite Mickey marionette lives in here in this gift shop. Here he is. B-movie 
dinosaur posters and yeah, and you can also see two Godzilla right there fighting against each other in here. I'm gonna cut through Chester and Hester's Dino-rama. Dude, it's gone. It's gone. If you know what used to sit here, I'm just gonna test a little bit of a ride knowledge. Name the attraction that used to sit here. Everything else is still intact. I really would love for them to turn this whole area into like a Disney afternoon area or Duckburg. Turn this into Duckburg. Just do it. But if you do like a Disney afternoon thing, you can have Chippendale Rescue Rangers here. You have DuckTales, you have Darkwing Duck. You can have everything. Jordan didn't want to ride this one, so I'm going to do it single rider, which isn't bad at all. Just going to walk on. Love this ride, man. Love to see the Yeti. Got a little bit of the Yeti Museum here before we get on, but looks like I'm next. Whoa! Got the back row, by the way, man. This is the way to do it. Back row, and we're on a huge hidden Mickey right now. Did you know that Everest was a huge hidden Mickey? I'm gonna insert a photo you guys can see. About to get some good views, too. I didn't feel bad like leaving Jordan to wait because I just got right on. So, look at that, we're about to see him. Yeti time, baby. As you can see in the distance, Spaceship Earth, right over there. Tower of Terror, Guardians. See monkeys, tigers, and dragons. Oh my! There he is, right there. Dragon. Just taking a little early afternoon slumber. Half of his body's in the shade and his head's out in the sun, sunbathing. About to go into my favorite exhibit here where they have the bats. I'm not lying to you guys, I really do like bats. There he is, right there, hanging upside down. He's got some red in him and black. How cool is that? Pretty big wings. I was telling Jordan there's a lot of places around here that could be used for filming. I mean, realistically, this looks like something straight out of like Indiana Jones or like the Jungle Cruise film. He's also taking a little, little nap, a little tiger over there. Oh yeah, these guys are out. Look at that. Incredible. Dude. 
Look at that. Where are you going? Right down to the water. That is so cool. Never seen one like that so active around here. It's like sheer Khan right there staring at me. Beautiful though, she. I heard the uh, Wilderness Explorer cast member telling someone it was a she. She's a big kitty, that's for sure. Getting like a full minute for walking around because I'm making it for lost time of never having like this on video. This is great. And I think she's heading on around the other side of the building. We came here right at the right time. See ya. That was so awesome. Pandora. Kind of walking around, not gonna ride anything in here. This area is just really pretty, that's for sure. Got an hour wait for the Navi River journey and the lightning lane was all the way out for the other attraction where you ride the Banshee. Flight of Passage. So yeah, we're not really doing anything here today, but just walking around. Gonna cut through. Got some more Beastly Kingdom stuff right here. Almost looks like a prehistoric mouth, like a dragon or a gator. Yeah, like an alligator mouth or like a, a horn on the top of it with crazy shark teeth. Yeah, and the boat used to go through here. On a tour. That looks like that sand worm that came out after Beetlejuice. Sure did. You hate them, don't you? I hate them myself. We've made it in a complete circle. We're gonna check out Island Mercantile, see if there's anything new going on with merchandise. This is so cool. You can take home your own Tree of Life playset and it opens up. You can get animals, safari, little Jeep there. That's is that mini? Yeah, I think that's mini. And then there's Mickey. I like it. They've got like pretty much any kind of hat you could think of here as far as uh, safari type hats go. I got confused on the gift shop that I like. It's Discovery Trading Company. That's the gift shop that I like. Oh wow, look at all these, these birds here. Doing some kind of a presentation up front. I think we're gonna see the parrots once again. Yeah, sky filled with macaws. Let's see it. Holy cow, here they come. Claws? No, because they're macaws. Oh man, that's so cool. All right, yeah, Discovery Trading Company. This is the gift shop I always have the best luck with. I usually, I don't buy a lot, but if I'm looking for something, they usually have it. Dude, would you look at this? Dang, that's awesome. Why is this for a child only? I want this. Dude, so much Oswald. Look at that plush. Oh man, that's so cool. Love Oswald. Well, this was a lot of fun visiting Disney's Animal Kingdom with Jordan for his very first time. What'd you think? I thought it was fun for like a hangout, walk around. Yeah. But like if you're going to spend your money on the parks, I would say probably pick one of the other three because it's like a little bit more exciting. Yeah. That's, but least favorite of the four, but still a great park. Yeah, totally. I'm glad I got to come with you for your first time to Animal Kingdom. Yeah, this Kinda is like crazy because I, I only, you know, like I said, when I came here in the 90s, they were announcing it, so right. I had no idea what it turned into. Well, it turned into this, buddy. But this was a fun day here at Animal Kingdom, and like I said, our adventure for today has come to an end, which means... Tram does make a full and complete stop, and I will let you know when you can board my tram. Make sure you're 
sure you're fully behind that yellow line for me. Almost there, my friends. Almost there. Is your full and complete stop? Welcome aboard. All right. Please lower your head and watch your step. It's time to say goodbye, and I will see you guys on the next adventure. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye. <laughs>